the long-term effects but we know they're going to be bad down the road so everybody down here no matter if you're parasailing or you're laying by the beach you're absorbing there's no cautious way to happily absorb poison the conscious decision that was made in the first place was to either save the water column or save the marshes and the estuaries keep it out of people's eyesight what they decided to do was sink it didn't realize the bubbles was not sea foam it was core exit that started activating on it about 15 minutes after that on the boat, my throat esophagus was burning so bad, I was almost screaming, and it hurt, and it really hurt bad. I started noticing this white floating sand bubbles. I mean, it wasn't normal bubbles, but, you know, and you'd go to scoop it up, and it spread apart, and then if you put it into a container, it, it'd go down to the bottom as, as sand something I had never seen in my 61 years on Cotton Bow. I got deathly sick. I threw up for hours upon hours. Never in my life, I didn't think I was gonna make it to next morning. Don't think that everything is fine because it's not fine. Either way the wind blows, we're getting it over here. And I kept wondering why, when I come outside of this climate control house, why my arms started breaking out again when they were clearing up. Well, now I know. After the accident, it turned out that the industry was not prepared. What are you monitoring? Where are you monitoring? What chemicals are you monitoring? How often? And where are the flipping results? I'm, I'm not, I, I don't care how safe they say and they're out there testing and doing this, that, and the other. Oh, you need to eat this and that. Um, they're covering it up. If the FDA's waved its magic wand and says that the Gulf's clean, the seafood's safe, let's get some FDA mobile units on our docks and let's actually do some chemical testing. We're just not breathing it for a short period of time. You're breathing it all day long for days. Tourists who don't know, who don't live here, have no idea, come down and put their children in it. We filmed it and turn around and say, the beach is good today, let's go to the zoo. We've got an excellent Walmart. Only in the United States has the system been corrupted to the extent where you could actually pull this off here. Normally the simple answer is, and the easy answer is the right answer, and everybody was having the same kind of symptoms, so I couldn't ignore it and say that it was just a heat wave. It settles in your tissues and it settles in your organs, and. Five to ten years, I could come down with some kind of nasty form of cancer and die. The tests that the government and BP have been recommending show absolutely nothing. So for a long time, these tests were being done, and they were the wrong tests. Nobody else knew what kind of paneling to use, so we decided to step forward and start testing. Three different labs, three different doctors, and the same components. What we're talking about is like ethyl benzene and xylene, two menthol pentane, three menthol pentane, hexane, those don't even have a national standard of comparison. These chemicals are showing up in air analysis that's independent from the water analysis and tarball analysis and the bloodstream analysis. It's going to be a cultural genocide if they do not test the seafood and make sure that it's safe. Not only to protect our, our fishermen, but hello, what about the consumer? So what you do then, this, this is a, an economic and political question. Are you safeguard it? So why should people be concerned? People should be concerned that this would be allowed to happen right underneath their noses. That's being told that there's zero hydrocarbons in the water is pretty hard to believe when you can look down and see a tar ball for yourself. The volatile solvent profile uh, breaks down and looks for hydrocarbons. Uh, in the bloodstream and it tests for nine different toxins and you can order it up any doctor can use it as long as he can uh, perform phlebotomy in-house 
and you send it off to a lab in Georgia, and that's where they do the testing. So the doctor, the only thing that he has to do is actually draw the blood and take the visit and be prepared to um, be able to assist someone after they're diagnosed. Well, I've been working with um, Coastal Heritage Society, and uh, people can contact the Gulf Coast Oil Spill Volunteers Wall, also Project Gulf Impact for their health line. Um, any of those numbers would get back to us, and we're trying to set up doctors in different areas. We're begging for doctors to please come forward and use this volatile solvent profile. Please, please, people need it. Emergency, everybody to get from street. Emergency, everybody to get from street. Хорошо, подберите все вместе. Emergency, everybody to get from street. Street? Нет, нет, нет. Emergency. 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 Молчи.